Another type of equations we can solve using substitution are homogeneous equations. Suppose that we can write the differential equation as y prime equals f of y divided by x, where the right side is a function of y divided by x. If the equation fits this form, we have a homogeneous equation that can be solved using substitution. It's also true we have a homogeneous equation if the equation is in the form of dy dx equals f of x comma y, if f of tx comma ty equals f of x comma y. But we'll go ahead and stick with this first definition. So if an equation fits this form, then we let v equal y divided by x. And if v is equal to y divided by x, y is equal to v times x, which we need to find y prime. To find y prime, we differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to x, shown here in blue, which gives us y prime equals, on the right, to differentiate v times x with respect to x, we apply the product rule with the chain rule, which gives us v times one plus x times v prime, or just v plus x times v prime. Using these two equations to perform substitution, the result will be a separable differential equation. Let's look at an example. Let's solve the initial value problem x squared y prime equals y squared plus xy, where y of one equals one. The first step is to make sure that we have a homogeneous differential equation. Let's solve for y prime by dividing both sides by x squared. Notice on the left we now have y prime equals, we can write y squared divided by x squared as the square of y divided by x, and xy divided by x squared simplifies to y divided by x. Notice the right side is now a function of y divided by x, and therefore we do have a homogeneous differential equation, which we can now solve by performing substitution. Again, we'll let v equal y divided by x, and y prime equal v plus x times v prime. And the result will be a separable differential equation. Let's continue on the next slide. We left off with y prime equals the square of y divided by x plus y divided by x. Performing substitution, y prime is equal to v plus x times v prime, and y divided by x is equal to v, giving us v squared plus v on the right. Next, we will subtract v on both sides, which gives us x times v prime equals just v squared. We know v prime is equal to dv dx. Notice we do have a separable differential equation. We need all the v's on the left and the x's on the right. So we multiply both sides by one over v squared and multiply both sides by one over x and also multiply both sides by dx. The result is one divided by v squared dv equals one divided by x dx. Now we integrate both sides of the equation. On the left, the indefinite integral of v to the power of negative two with respect to v is equal to v to the power of negative one divided by negative one, or negative v to the power of negative one. We'll put the constant on the right. On the right, we have the indefinite integral of one divided by x dx, which gives us natural log epsilon of x plus c. Now, now we need to work on solving for v. Negative v to the power of negative one is equal to negative one divided by v. From here, if we take the reciprocal of both sides of the equation, we have negative v equals one divided by the quantity natural log epsilon of x plus c. Next, we multiply both sides by negative one, and we have v equals negative one divided by the quantity natural log epsilon of x plus c. Before we determine the constant c though, we need to write the equation back in terms of x and y. Recall v is equal to y divided by x. Next, we multiply both sides by x, which gives us y equals negative x divided by the quantity natural log epsilon of x plus c. And now because we have the equation back in terms of x and y, we can use the initial condition y of one equals one to determine the constant c that will give us the particular solution. We substitute one for x and one for y, which gives us one equals negative one divided by the quantity natural log one plus c. Natural log one is equal to zero, giving us one equals negative one divided by c, and therefore c is equal to negative one which gives us the particular solution, y equals negative x divided by the quantity natural log epsilon of x minus one. I hope you found this helpful.